welcome. go through just um, a wonderful fast recipe that actually takes its roots from Greek spanakopita, which I love. It's made from phyllo, has spinach and feta inside, but it's a little time consuming to make. And so um, I came up with a way of making it into a pasta dish and it's fabulous. Um, a little bit of housekeeping first. Uh, Becky is here and she's taking care of the camera and the questions. So if you have any questions about the cooking or the products, anything, just go ahead and put them in on Facebook and she will relay them to me and I will give you an answer. So, spanakopita pasta. Um, I'm starting with a pound, it's a whole lot of spinach, of uh, baby spinach, and I have taken the ends off of the spinach um, on the ones that are very thick, the little stems. I also have fregola pasta. So when I make um, the spanakopita pasta, you can use either orzo, which is a little uh, Greek pasta, or Italian Greek pasta like that, or fregola, which is what I'm using. This is what we carry in the store. And this pasta, if you can see it, instead of being the dough being put through an extruder or being shaped, they actually take the dough and grate it on a grater. It goes onto a great big tray and it gets toasted. So you can see that there's some toasty pieces, and when you cook it, it has a wonderful flavor to it, which really adds to the spanakopita. Okay, so I have my pasta ready. I actually already made my fregola. This is such a quick recipe. It's only six ingredients and the salt and pepper. So the flavor comes from the great ingredients that you start with. And of course, one of the best things you can use is a really fresh pressed extra virgin olive oil. I'm using our Cherisuola. This comes from Sicily. And it is really a great example of how the chemical properties of the um, polyphenols and the things that we find in olive oil lead to also the flavor of the olive oil. There's a phenol that's in, that's in um, Cherisuola that's very high in Cherisuola. It's a strong antioxidant, which is great for your health, but it also gives it this wonderful artichoke astringent bitterness, which is lovely in this dish. So um, to get started again, I've got my spinach ready to go. And now I'm going to saute up the onions. When I did the fregola pasta, I put it in salty water and you want your water to be salty like ocean water. So give it a nice bit of sea salt or um, kosher salt right into the water. I have a couple tablespoons of olive oil in the pan and into it is going to go two large chopped onions and the onions that I used is about this size. This recipe makes a whole lot which is great because it's wonderful with leftovers um, but you can always cut it in half and just make half if you'd like. So I'm going to saute up the onions while the onions were sauteing, I would be starting my pasta, but I did it earlier because I didn't want to turn my back on everybody and go ahead and drain the pasta. So I'm just going to let the onions saute. We want them to get soft. We don't want them to brown. And we want them to, of course, pick up that wonderful flavor of the extra virgin olive oil. Um, when you use a fresh pressed extra virgin olive oil, the flavors are big, which leads to the final flavor of the dish. So that has about two tablespoons of our Cherisuola olive oil. Into the spinach, I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup. Nikki asks how you drain that pasta. So the pasta, because it is kind of small, it does puff. I used a fine sieve and I put that right over my colander so that I don't lose the pasta through the holes of the colander. Thank you, Nikki. So I'm just going to toss the olive oil into the spinach so that it clings to the leaves. My grandmother always did this when she made spanakopita and um, so I just carried over that into making the spanakopita pasta. Spanakopita is 
basically the same as what we're making here right now the only difference is instead of the pasta there would be rice in with the feta and the spinach and then the whole thing goes into phyllo dough and you wrap it into little triangles a little time consuming so like i said if you love that flavor which i do of all of the spinach and feta and olive oil this is a great way to have it you can have this as a main dish you can have it as a side with some nice chicken or fish and um, you can also like i said have it as leftovers it's wonderful you can also make it earlier in the day and it's really good at room temperature so you can pull it out of the refrigerator after you've made it let it get to room temperature while you're waiting for everybody to join you maybe for a patio picnic or um, um, having a little dinner party the onions are getting done the next thing that goes in is sorry let me start with this salt and pepper goes on with the spinach as well and the reason for that is it helps to wilt the spinach which is what we want to happen when we add all the hot ingredients to this so about a half a teaspoon of salt and a nice grind of pepper to get some flavor i'm going to turn that over as well and you can see that just the olive oil by adding the olive oil and the salt and pepper this spinach has started to wilt with the leftovers of this uh, spanakopita de pasta we have added anything you can imagine leftover uh, salmon leftover chicken you can do little meatballs with it it is so universal you're going to have this in your recipe repertoire for a long time and of course if you change the flavor of the olive oil you can change the flavor of this dish so if i was to use our rosemary olive oil instead of the the uh, pure olive oil i would get a little bit of rosemary in there you could make it a little bit of spicy by adding the gremolata olive oil it has a little bit of lemon zest which is wonderful in any greek dish okay my onions are getting nice and soft the next thing that goes in is uh, two cloves of garlic and if you don't have a good garlic press ask for one for your birthday or christmas they are just so wonderful to have so once you add the garlic um, you want to again just till it's soft it does not have to brown and it's better if it doesn't brown and let that go for just a minute this uh, garlic press has this nice little flip up clean feature so i really do like it you can probably find it online okay last but not least very simple the fregola So here's the fregola all cooked see. and you can see the toasty pieces that are in there um, like I said if I was doing this as a dinner this would have gone on as I was starting the onion so that everything is hot when it all comes together so the fregola is going right into the onions and garlic And now the onions are nice and soft. I don't want to fry the fregola, but I do want to let it get coated. And if it had, like mine, had gotten done a little bit earlier than the onions, I want to warm it back up because I want this nice and hot. The garlic smells wonderful, the onions smell wonderful, and the olive oil. This is such a great dish. It does remind me that when I have traveled to the Mediterranean, there were so many dishes that were just five, six ingredients, and the flavors are amazing. And why? Because they start with really fresh ingredients. Fresh spinach, 
some great um, onions, and of course, fresh pressed extra virgin olive oil. Okay, that's ready. The whole thing now goes right on top of the spinach. And we're gonna very gently turn it over. And you can see this pound of spinach, which started out as a lot. If I get the um, great big, it, it cooks down. If I get the great big um, package of spinach, I think it's about 10 ounces, just use both of them. It's more spinach than uh, the recipe calls for, but it'll be fine. Doesn't it smell great? It does. I know. Easy, easy, and delicious. You can't get any better than this. And it's just such a satisfying dish, too, with the, uh, the toasty pasta and the spinach and onions. Yum. Okay, last thing to go in. The feta. And it calls for a nice heaping pound of feta. As I said, this makes a giant bowl, as you can mm -hmm. see. So if you want to do half, you can. But the minute you make half, you're going to wish you had more. It's a great thing to take the next day for lunch because you can just pop it in the microwave, warm it up, or eat it cold. And as you can imagine how versatile this is, if you have any roasted vegetables left over, you can put it in there as well. And there you go. Regula Spanakopita pasta. So what would I serve with this? This just by itself would be great with a wonderful Greek salad. We've got all those fresh tomatoes coming in and um, Greek salads on our website as well. Very easy. Tomato, cucumber, red onion, and a little red wine vinegar and fresh pressed olive oil. And that's it. You can also, like I said, use this as a side if you're gonna put something on the grill. It's a great dish. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to come in to the Olive Scene and check out everything we have for Father's Day. Uh, lots of great gift ideas will be up on Instagram and on Facebook, so check those out too. And here's a great dish to have for Father's Day. I hope you come in and enjoy it. Thank you for joining us.